the economic summit organized by the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce commenced yesterday in Colombo. Delivering the keynote address of the summit, President Ranil Vikramasinghe, who laid out the developments of the debt restructuring program, emphasized the necessity of adhering to the agreed-upon framework, stressing that deviation could lead to adverse consequences with creditors. I don't know whether what we've done can be called reform. This is not reform. It's a restructuring and a radical restructuring. And there's no going back. What is taking place now is something that can't be turned back. We've got to work within this new policy frame. We have made significant progress in the efforts to restructure its debt in order to restore debt sustainability. The government, along with its financial legal advisors, have been engaged in good faith negotiations with all its creditors over the last several months. All creditor groups have been very cooperative and constructive in their engagement with us. With regard to the official creditors, Sri Lanka engaged in negotiations with the official creditor committee and in parallel with China Exim Bank. Contrary to many expectations, Sri Lanka has been able to successfully navigate this process. With this, we expect that the IMF board will be in a position to conclude the first review of Sri Lanka's EFF program within the month of December. We are mainly relying on a long-term extension of the debt. But what does this mean? The economic principles on which we will operate for the future is what has gone into this net negotiation. If we go away from it, then the creditors are entitled to act. Then I thought to myself, look, if I don't do this, no one is going to do it. And next time, if I don't have this system, we don't have a long-term agreement, the next government, someone will want to turn it back and give the goodies. We can't be auctioning non-existing resources all the time. These are decisions I had to take in private. You want me to have a consensus. How can I have consensus with people who ran away and didn't take responsibility? For how long are we going to be a bigger nation? That's why we are the Sri Lankan. Are we going to be beggars, going and asking other people to help us out each time because we didn't do our maths correctly, so we are not willing to export, because we are not willing to be competitive. So we are asking other people, other countries to give their taxpayers money because we made it wrong. You can't go on like this. For us, this is the last chance. Either we've got to take it or bust it. With this framework, we are entering into a new political it also. Everyone has to make their policies within it. If they are going to break it, they must tell the country. I can give it to you in writing. If you go on like this, you will have another crisis within 10 years, maybe earlier. We are having free trade agreements, which means in the next 5 to 15 years, tariffs will have to be adjusted and that will have to be downward. Because we have seen previously also when elections are announced, elections are conducted, these directions change. So I know you mentioned that. I thought I'll leave that remark to you to answer that question uh, you should, you should ask Dr. Harsha. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have this on ground. This is the agreement. Do you agree or not? That's all. If you don't agree, you tell the country. So most, most will fall in line with the agreement, I think. There will be a few who will. The country will have to decide. My assessment, country is going along with the IMF. Whatever the difficulties are, people know we are getting out of it. And situation is slightly better than earlier. No one is saying it's that good. But they know that there's hope at the end of the tunnel. Maybe we'll get there in electric car and not a, a fuel driven one. But uh, I, I don't think, I think they're very good at the next elections for them to come and say we'll bring all this down. Good. But remember one thing, though former President Gotabe is getting blamed for reducing taxes, all you guys agreed to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never expected that from you. I didn't expect that answer anyway. <laughs>